With a government offensive against the Taliban now underway in the northwest region of Pakistan, thousands of civilians continue to flee the region, bringing only what they can carry in their own hands or throw onto the back of a vehicle. Military operations are taking place in several districts that stretch over some 400 square miles. This recent video, purportedly shot by Al Jazeera and obtained exclusively by the Associated Press, shows destroyed vehicles and buildings in the Bunair district. The violence comes as Pakistan's leadership seeks still more help from Washington in battling the Taliban and asks the international community for help with the growing exodus of refugees. I appeal to the international community that they should help Pakistan to look, look after the internally displaced persons at this point of time. These photographs released by Pakistan's military show an alleged Taliban fighter captured by the Pakistani military and a second alleged Taliban fighter in the custody of government troops and weapons and ammunition seized by the military. A spokesman for the military says the army is having success against the militants. During the last 24 hours, approximately over 140 militants have been killed in different areas. According to the UN, a half million civilians have fled or are trying to flee the fighting. That figure is on top of the half million civilians who officials say became homeless when the military launched its last major anti-Taliban operation last summer. Pakistan's offensive follows the collapse of a peace deal between Islamabad and the Taliban in the northwest region. And the military moves are being applauded in Washington, which has described the militants as an existential threat to Pakistan and sees Pakistan as a crucial part of the U.S. fight against al-Qaeda and the Taliban in neighboring Afghanistan. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.